working on the agronomy jigsaw project. The purpose of this YouTube is to talk about gypsum and how it's being used on the south coast of WA. Gypsums are quite a common salt. It's made up of calcium and sulphate and is commonly found in the bottom of lake beds in arid regions. These are where the gypsum has formed and been blown out, forming quite pure gypsum deposits. Gypsum is commonly used to improve soil structure, particularly water infiltration and drainage in sodic clay soils. Gypsum does two things. The first thing is that gypsum is a salt, and the salt effect, or the electrolyte effect as it's scientifically known, actually allows clays to bond and so that the clays bond together preventing the soil or the clay from dispersing and it's the fine dispersed material uh, which clogs pores and channels and prevents water from draining deeper into the profile. The second way in which gypsum acts is by replacing sodium on the clay exchange sites Gypsum is made up of calcium and also sulphate. The calcium can replace sodium on the exchange sites and that calcium bonds the clays a lot tighter and once again allows the soil to bind and it prevents dispersion. We tend to find that the soils which have been treated with gypsum tend to drain a lot easier and also to greater depth. On the south coast this can have important implications because the subsoils tend to have relatively high levels of boron and also salt, greater drainage actually pushes the salt bulges and also the boron deeper into the profile. That just means that boron and salt sensitive crops can put their roots down deeper, there's a bigger bucket of water available to them and therefore they have better resources both in terms of water and nutrients, which they can draw on, particularly later into the season.